So, Minecraft content has been a prominent thing on YouTube for over a decade now, and throughout its history, it has had its fair share of ups and downs. We've seen things like Minecraft's massive decline around 2015 and 2019, and now, Minecraft's as big as ever, but I think that there's an issue with its content. I'd say that 2023 is the most stale year for Minecraft in its history. I'm not exaggerating that either. The videos that people have made are insanely repetitive. And that's what this video is about. In this video, we're gonna explore Minecraft's insanely unoriginal content and the creators behind all of this madness. By the way, this video idea was inspired by Hitronic's version of unoriginal creators. I'm gonna be covering some similar topics to him, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start off this video, we're gonna cover three main YouTubers. With Minecraft Curios and Nico. Cliff's case is kind of weird out of the bunch, so let's take a look at some of his videos. Firstly, around six months ago, Quiff made a video called Why I Cheated with a Pro Builder in a Build Battle. Well, for the most part, it was an original video type, and aside from the target audience obviously being little kids, the video was pretty alright. But the sequence after that was definitely not. By the way, I'm not gonna be saying in a build battle anymore because it would get more repetitive than it already is. A few videos after that, Quiff made a video called why I cheated with slash slash paste okay maybe he just wants some extra views so not too bad just yet then why I cheated with one day glass why I cheated with an auto build why I cheated with auto paste why I cheated with tiny build why I cheated with instant paste I'm pretty sure you get the point from there he's even doing these videos today the same recycled thumbnail similar titles and nearly identical intros it always starts off with these are pro builders or these are my friends heck I even counted how many of these videos he did and he's made a whopping 27 videos on these crappy build battle videos it just shows what content little kids would watch and quiff probably thinks that it's an easy bag for these videos and he is absolutely right you see usually with older minecraft fan bases they'll get bored after a video is constantly used over and over again which will then lead to a largely decreased fan base well this is simply not the case with smaller kids fan bases because most of them have little to no standards on the content they watch Cliff is more than likely making thousands of dollars on every video he makes because of these ideas. And that's the reason why he's making them. Anyway, Quiff has actually had a history of recycling video ideas. Around a year ago, his main money making idea was something along the lines of his friends doing something to him and then him getting revenge. I tried counting how many times he's used this video idea, but I lost count after 30. The Quiff story probably goes on for a lot longer, but I've already spent too much time talking about him. The next YouTuber here is my Minecraft Curios, and I'd say Curios is among the most scummy Minecraft creators on the platform. Curios is yet another kids YouTuber who's gained over a million subscribers, and the majority of these fans come from copied videos. But let's take a quick backtrack to Quiff's channel. I mean, yeah, he's using the same video thumbnail and idea over and over again, but when he started making his build battle videos, they were somewhat original. Let's do an example of a video. Why I cheated with Pro Builder in a Build Battle. Aside from two words, Minecraft Curios has the exact same video title and nearly an identical thumbnail from a different video of Quiff's. And most of the comments from these videos are nothing but positive. I don't know if it's because nothing but little kids watch him, he deletes the comments that are calling him out, or most of the comments are bots. I think it's option one because when I was looking at the commenters' YouTube channels, they didn't really seem like robots. But I'm getting off topic. Quiff isn't the only person Curios is copying. In a video called Why I Infected the World, Curios obviously infected the world, but that's not really important to the statement. He has the exact same thumbnail type as Quiff in the same title, word for word too. And Quiff even copied another YouTuber for that video idea, so that's pretty insane. Copycats are literally copying other copycats. Yeah. Overall, I'd say that he is definitely one of the worst Minecraft YouTubers on the platform, and it doesn't seem like it'll change anytime soon. The next and final YouTuber here is Nico, and you guessed it, he is another human kids YouTuber. But it didn't used to be that way. You see, Nico used to be a super successful Bedwars channel and racked up nearly a million subscribers on that channel, but he ended up quitting to become a kids creator. So Nico switched to this generic content seemingly for popularity, and it was kinda worth it because he more than 
doubled his fan base on his Nico channel. But I put him on this list because he is yet another generic kids YouTuber, and guess what? He made a video about how he cheated with Slash Last Paste in a build battle. This is seriously getting out of hand. He started off as just a normal Bed Wars YouTuber who I used to watch, and now he switched to this. But now that we've got all of the YouTubers out of the way, why is everyone copying each other? Well, it's for money. It seems like any person will stoop down so low just to make some extra cash. Quiff, Minecraft, Curios, and Nico are all making these generic videos for more views, and more views equals more AdSense, and more AdSense equals more money. All three YouTubers are making hundreds if not thousands of dollars on these stale videos, and I can't blame them. Heck, if I got that big of growth for making videos targeted towards little kids, maybe I would do it. It's pretty insane what people would do just for some popularity, but there we have it. Some of Minecraft's most repetitive kids YouTubers. I know this content style is kind of different than my usual, but I was really proud of how this video came out. So that brings me to this. If this video gets over a thousand views by Wednesday, I can make a part two for this video. Maybe I can make something about 100 days content or SMPs. So don't forget to like and subscribe. But anyways, goodbye fellow viewers.